The race for Nebraska's next governor was already unpredictable when a curveball was thrown into the race yesterday. Credible allegations were made to the Nebraska Examiner that candidate Charles Herbster groped eight women since 2017. Herbster denies this and says the allegations are a hit job. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper tells us what the Republican race may look like going forward. Yeah, Vanessa, polling from multiple campaigns back in March had Herbster in the lead, and it will take some time until we see polls done after the bombshell report was released. One thing's certain, the sexual abuse allegations have shaken up the race. Businessman and candidate for Governor Charles Herbster was accused Thursday of groping or forcibly kissing eight women. One is State Senator Julie Slama. It's really altered the Republican primary situation right now. That's UNL political science professor John Hibbing, who says the timing of the piece coming less than four weeks before the primary was not good for Herbster. And the fact that, that it, it blew up right now, I think, was probably not, not a coincidence. But uh, I guess I'm a little bit less bothered by that than other people might be, because to me, the th key thing is, are these, these allegations true? Uh, and I, I don't care when they were divulged. That, that's what we need to figure out. Now, these allegations, which include seven unnamed women and State Senator Julie Slama, are being forcibly denied by Herbster. I deny them 100%. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to run from. I've never even done that when my wife was alive in the 30-some years with her personally. Herbster told KFAB Radio he'll sue, but exactly who he'll sue is unclear. That's going to be between myself and my attorneys. I'm not going to. I'm not going to answer that question. Regardless of a lawsuit, the allegations could open up the race. Hibbing believes some voters may now veer towards Jim Pillen, who shares similar Donald Trump-type rhetoric as Herbster. Pillen and Herbster were busy trying to outright each other, uh, whereas Lindstrom saw his, his track as a little bit different, maybe slightly um, less eager to have the kind of Trump wing of the party uh, support him. There's a chance Herbster still wins the primary. That would set up a general election matchup against Democrat Carol Blood. Certainly this has opened the door, I think, for the Democrats to, to have a chance against, especially if Herbster is the nominee. Now, the last time a Democrat was elected to a statewide office in Nebraska was Ben Nelson back in 1998. Democrats seeking hope could look at Kansas. Four years ago, a moderate Democrat was elected governor after facing a far right-wing Republican candidate. Reporting in the newsroom, John Kipper, 3 News Now.